Growing outrage over the Hollywood celebrities that refuse to speak out about fashion powerhouse Balenciaga's controversial ads. Featuring children holding teddy bears clad in bondage outfits, celebrities with ties to the brand have been silent, including Nicole Kidman, Dua Lipa, and Salma Hayek, who is married to the billionaire CEO of the fashion brand's parent company. Lisa, it's funny how you know celebrities are the, the quickest, the fastest, the first to run to the cancel culture machine. They are the first to pull that level lever of why they should be outraged. And yet here, when they also featured ads with children uh, sitting on top of the Supreme Court decision that dealt with child pornography and whether it was a free speech issue to communicate about such, they're now quiet. Well, they, they condemn, but not when it's a, well, not when it's against their financial interests, right? Mm -hmm. And so they want to be tied to this big fashion brand, this big fashion house. And, and look, what this is, it's perversion and it's evil. That's what it is. There's absolutely no way. I don't believe for the slightest thing that Balenciaga was not aware. They did not sign off on this, okay? You have two yeah. different photo shoots. You have children with bondage teddy bears. You have another case, as you pointed out, with the Supreme Court case on child pornography. And they're going to sit there and try to lie to us and tell us that somehow a portion of it was just oversight. I don't believe that in the slightest. And these oh, people wow. are cowards who won't go out and condemn it. They're all rich enough. They don't need this money. They're cowards. And the problem is this cowardice comes at a time where we have this increasing sex exploitation yep. of children in America as well. And, and you look at things like libs of TikTok posting videos of children dancing for money alongside dr uh, drag queens yep. at some of these events. And what's happening in America is evil. It is wrong. It should be condemned. And these celebrities are absolute cowards. And Carly, you know, if, if, if history is any indicator, they had no problem, however, speaking out against John Galliano's horrible tirade caught in Paris um, against, for example, what, what they claim, like, right... Okay, I'll let you, I'll let you take oh it. Oh my gosh, I, no, I was just so excited about where you were going yes, with it. Yes. <laughs> also because I too, like you Emily, was thinking back to all the things that have been canceled or criticized over the past few years and I made a list. You have Dr. Seuss, Paw Patrol. I bought all the books, The by TV the way. show Cops. <laughs> The actual police, Aunt Jemima, despite the fact that the family who Making was money. the, yeah, the family of Aunt Jemima, the original, didn't want that to happen. Uncle Ben, uh, the Washington Redskins turned football team, turned commanders, Cleveland Guardians, but not a BDSM ad featuring children. Are you mm -hmm. kidding me? And some people may agree with some of those name changes or cancellations, depending on your political perspective or point of view. But the point is that we do live in a culture and a time where whenever there's a seeming wrongdoing to a less powerful powerful group of people, there is immediate call to action and change, but not in this case. And Lisa, I think you're absolutely right. It ties to money. Black Lives Matter. The defund the police movement was very profitable for Hollywood. I guess this is not. Good Paris, points, girl. You and I talked about um, the camp, the ad, the ad campaign uh, between Heidi Klum and her daughter. And what we talked about, what we, what we covered. Victoria's was, Secret. We, yeah, was the, the backlash to it on behalf of many parents and children who said, I can't believe you're having your, your daughter here. Rem remember, we talked about yeah, that. Yeah. Um, and so interestingly, however, this particular ad campaign that is atrocious on its face, as Lisa says, evil, that's gotten nothing but crickets. And, and I correct myself, it was lingerie, but it wasn't yeah. Victoria's Secret. You can tell it's Christmas. You know what's on my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tony, um, take those. Boom. Come like <laughs> on, 20 years with the same man. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to drop notes on, like, television. <laughs> Look, I, I wanted to compare this, though, to something else that's going on. Balenciaga, and, and as well they should, have taken, um, you know, had qualms about what, and taken exception and condemned what uh, Kanye West was saying about, about anti-Semitism mm -hmm. and, and about not being anti-Semitic, I should say. So they didn't want him to wear that little Balenciaga mouth guard. They didn't want to have anything to do with him anymore. But when it comes to children in harm's way, it's suddenly somebody else's problem, somebody else's fault. And you know they spent money on those photo shoots. You, yeah. you know that many people were down yep. the decision exactly. chain to make that happen. And now they say it wasn't them. Balenciaga is like, oh, you know, we didn't know it was happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. I, I, over listen, it. I know we got to go, so I just want to say I co-sign all of this as a dad <laughs> and a fashion icon. I'm with all <laughs> yeah. of you. I mean, you I, have more seconds than that if you want to. Oh, I, I just didn't know. No, it's, <laughs> let me give you really quick. This is why Ron DeSantis is as popular as he is in Florida. He didn't need yeah. an ad campaign to tell him what was happening to children is wrong. The sexualization True. of children mm -hmm. didn't need Balenciaga to tell the world it was wrong. And if it did, shame on you. When we were growing up, we had a word for someone who wanted to teach sex to a five-year-old. They were called the defendant, and that's what they should be called now. Yeah, he's a book coming out too, DeSantis. Ah, oh. way to go! All right, more outnumbered in just a moment. Stay with us.
Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.